Hey everybody, welcome back to Overland Florida. I'm Kevin and I'm out here on the Winter Haven Channel Lakes and as you guys know, I've been a member of the Freedom Boat Club for just a year now and I wanted to give you guys a one year review. I just want to start off by saying thank you to Eddie. He reached out to me about this time last year, sent me an email inviting me to come to the Freedom Boat Club. I had no idea the Freedom Boat Club even existed or it was a thing and he invited me in, I talked to him and I went on a little boat tour and everything. Uh, probably a couple weeks later and uh, I became a member of the Freedom Boat Club. I've been joining it ever since. So there's a lot of questions, frequent questions that I get asked and I want to answer some of them. But I just want to start off by saying um, the staff and everybody that works the docks and cleans the boats, um, very professional. The boats have always been cleaned. Anytime there's been a last minute issue, um, even with just scheduling like uh, I invited too many people for the boat that I, I reserved. Uh, they've always had a game plan put together or something last minute. Um, like, like for this boat right here, if I had too many people for this boat at the last minute and I just showed up like, hey, I have too many people for this boat. Um, is there another boat available? They've always had a pontoon boat or something where we could all fit comfortably and safely. So um, thanks uh, to everybody, all the dock staff for that, for the last minute little schedule changes and everything. But outside of that, uh, it's been a great experience. Um, as far as reserving a boat, I've been able to go boating every day that I've wanted to. Um, sometimes I wait till the last minute and I don't reserve a boat um, until like the day before. And the boat that I've wanted might not have been available, but I've always been able to reserve a boat, whether it be a pontoon boat, a bass boat, um, this center console boat, or a, a deck boat. So it's been really fun. Um, never had an issue. Um, at the very beginning, I think the second time that I ever came out, um, one of the boats had an issue, but um, they were really quick to respond. Um, I called them and said, hey, the boat that I'm, uh, I'm on won't start. It just shut off in the middle of the lake. And they jumped into action. Um, I think Gigi came out there with uh, a really nice brand new pontoon boat. No one's even taken out yet. And uh, she came rescued us. and. Uh, we had a really nice pontoon boat to uh, explore the chain with uh, for the rest of the day, so that was a lot of fun. In this year, I've only broken one thing, and that was a windshield on a pontoon boat. So I was trying to put the bimini top up on a pontoon boat, and the wind caught it, and I was holding the pole, and it went right through the windshield and broke it right off the right off the center console. So um, we still we still uh, enjoyed the rest of the day. Um, but when I brought the boat back to return it for the that evening, I held up the pieces and I was like, I owe you, I owe you guys a windshield. And they said, no big problem. It happens all the time. So um, I think uh, a week or two later, um, Eddie sent me an email. We went back and forth a couple times. He ordered the new part, had it put on, and uh, that was the end of it. Like, it, was, it was no big deal. Uh, and for the bigger issues that arise, um, included with the membership of the Freedom Boat Club is insurance. So if you have a big, uh, big, Hopefully you don't, but if you have some kind of big uh, malfunction or um, you end up totaling a boat or something crazy happens, there is insurance to uh, cover uh, expensive things like the engine, the hull of a boat, or maybe the pontoons if you uh, poke a hole in a pontoon or something like that. But um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that stuff uh, probably rarely ever happens. How the Freedom Boat Club works. So basically, um, you pay a one-time fee to join the Freedom Boat Club, and then you have a monthly fee every month after that. So. There's a few different levels and everyone always asks me the price. Basically, you're gonna have to click on the link and just ask them yourself. Um, it's kinda, it's not different for everybody, but there's different levels of, of the club. So the one that I chose, or I'm in right now, is uh, seven days a week. So seven days a week, I have full access to all the boats in all the Freedom Boat Club uh, locations. There's over 300 locations. And luckily, I live in Lakeland, which is just outside Tampa Bay and just inside Tampa Bay there's like 32 or 34 locations so any day of the week I can go on the app I can choose a location in Tampa Bay South Florida there's one in Isle Mirada which is in the Florida Keys uh, North Florida and I believe there's like Texas there's uh, Massachusetts there's New York and there's also other countries they're in the UK now um, I'm sure Canada and uh, even like Italy so if you like to travel a lot, or if you're looking for an excuse to travel, um, joining the Freedom Boat Club and then just going to all the different locations uh, is really interesting. Now in this one year, I haven't even ventured to even like 1 15th of the Freedom Boat Club. 
I think I've gone to like six different locations just in this one year and we still never ran out of places to explore. Um, I do come to the Freedom Boat Club in Winter Haven a lot, but that's my home location. I live right here. So uh, it's really easy for me to just get in the truck, drive over here and you know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, I'm out on the water. So that is uh, a good thing about uh, joining the one in uh, Winter Haven. Is the Freedom Boat Club cheaper than owning your own boat? And uh, like I said, that's gonna be different for every single person. A lot of people already own their boats. A lot of people already have trucks and SUVs that are capable of towing a boat. Uh, some people have a yard or a garage big enough to store their own boat. So let's just do worst case scenario. So worst case scenario, you never boated before. You've not even thought about boating or been on a boat really growing up. And it's just something you really wanted to do. So you go out and you're like, hey boat dealership salesman guy, what boat do I need? And he puts you on a $60,000 boat, which is probably an average price for whether you get a hurricane deck boat, a really nice pontoon boat, or a center console boat just like this. Probably $60,000 in 2022 is probably what you're gonna, what you're gonna spend. Uh, now you need a vehicle to tow this boat if you don't have one. Worst case scenario, now you gotta go buy a vehicle. Just a basic XL four-door F-150 is gonna cost you roughly $45,000, $50,000 today. So now you're $100,000 in the hole, just on two vehicles, you haven't even hit the water yet. Now you need somewhere to store the boat. I don't know how much boat storage costs. I've never had a storage locker. I've never had to uh, pay to store my boat or anything. Let's just say it's $75 a month. I know they charge by the foot most places. Let's just say it's $75 a month for that. So now you're $75 a month. You have a truck payment, a boat payment. You're in the hole all this money and you still haven't hit the water yet. You have maintenance, you have tires, bearings, stuff like that on the trailer. You have the hull maintenance, the boat itself, and then you have the boat motor maintenance. Now, typically on a brand new boat, that's probably not gonna be a whole lot, especially your first year, you're gonna have oil change or two, but every year you own that boat and you're paying on that boat, it depreciates. Let's just say all that together, you're spending $900 a month for a payment on a truck, the boat, insurance, and some maintenance. That boat that you own every year is depreciating in value and you have that one boat that's getting older and older and older. With the Freedom Boat Club, if you were to join that, let's just say the average monthly price, I, I don't know, let's say it's 300 or 350 bucks. That's your price every month and the boats are never older than three years. As soon as two years, three years comes around, they start ordering new boats. So for that 350 bucks, that covers insurance, that covers maintenance, and you're not stuck with that one boat that's getting older and older and older. You have access to boats that I would never even think about or dream about owning uh, in my lifetime. I can go out on the app and I can get uh, a fishing boat out on the East Coast, the West Coast. I can get a center console boat, bay boat like this. I can get bass boats, I can get pontoon boats, I can get ski boats, I can get um, hurricane deck boats, which are some of my favorite next to this boat right here. And all those boats, I probably wouldn't own any of them if it wasn't for being a member of the Freedom Boat Club and being able to use them whenever I want. So just the, the freedom of that, and I don't have to worry about tires or wheel bearings going out on my trailer. Um, there's nothing worse, and I've been in this situation before, there's nothing worse than planning a trip with a bunch of friends, getting all excited, hyped up, getting drinks, getting ice, getting fuel, and then you're on the side of I-4, I-75 heading south, and your wheel bearing goes out, and you're done. No trip. You gotta break it to everybody. Hey, wheel bearing went out, probably not gonna get it fixed today. You know, we'll try again next weekend. There's nothing worse than that feeling, letting everybody down because of one little wheel bearing. And uh, with the Freedom Boat Club, I don't have to worry about that. So it takes the stress off my hands. I don't have to worry about pulling a trailer through traffic, backing up a trailer down a boat ramp, none of that. And uh, since joining the Freedom Boat Club, I was actually able to downsize my truck to a smaller truck, and now I save a lot of money on fuel. I'm not pulling trailers anywhere. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of upsides to the Freedom Boat Club. Uh, probably just convenience, honestly. Um, I can be at my house on a Thursday, text some friends, be like, hey, let's go boating Friday. I can get on my app, I can choose the location, anywhere. 
of the 300 plus locations that they have at Freedom Boat Club, I can choose the style of boat I want, what time I want to get there, and you know what time I'm going to drop it right back off. Unfortunately, the day that I was filming this, my battery died, and I'll take that as a sign of I was talking too much and rambling on. So I'll make this last clip right here pretty short and sweet. Um, if you're interested in the Freedom Boat Club, don't take my word for it. There's a link in the description. Feel free to uh, send them a message and they'll get back to you. They won't spam you with all kinds of stuff. I know there's a little thing down there, a little disclaimer or whatever, uh, once you click the link, but they won't, they won't spam you or anything like that. Um, if you're nervous about joining a boat club or you've never been on a boat or owned a boat before, the Freedom Boat Club has unlimited training. So if you've never touched a boat before, they'll teach you how to dock the boat, how to drive the boat across the lake, how to navigate canals, channels, all the different buoys, what they mean. And like I said, that training right there is unlimited. Anytime you have a question, they have a person on staff that'll bring you into the classroom. They have, you know, a little video to watch. They have books and a test and all that stuff. So like I said, uh, if you're nervous about becoming a boater, don't be at all. The Freedom Boat Club is a great way to uh, learn all about boating. And that being said, uh, enjoying the boats is a lot of fun and you can pretty much do whatever you want to do on the boats um, from diving to scalloping to going to see manatees um, just exploring all the different springs across florida um, it's a lot it's a lot of fun i really enjoy it and uh, as you guys know i spend uh, during the summer a few days a week uh, on the water and during the winter uh, i try to go as much as i can sometimes there's a few weeks where it's a little too cold but for the most part um, like like today today's really overcast it's kind of chilly but you know, it's December 12th right now, and uh, I'm on a boat in just a hoodie. Probably don't even need the hoodie anymore because it's kind of warming up, but uh, it's pretty much year-round boating here in Florida. And one last thing before I head across the lake to get some food. Thank you, Eddie and the staff of the Freedom Boat Club in Winter Haven. It's been a really fun year, and I've been able to take these boats out very often, and it's all because of the Freedom Boat Club.